Let's turn to tonight's nine at nine. An effigy of Kentucky's governor hung from a tree during a protest. Scientists are working on a bionic eye that could eventually help humans see in the dark. Plus, a look at how COVID-19 is impacting communities across the globe. Here's tonight's nine at nine. Brazil is now among the country's hardest hit by COVID-19 and the city of Manaus, located in the middle of the Amazon, has been hit particularly hard. The city has recorded 1,100 deaths and more than 39,000 confirmed cases. On Saturday alone, there were 51 burials. Over the weekend, the Trump administration issued a proclamation banning people who have been to Brazil over the past two weeks from entering the U.S. Someone hung an effigy of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir outside the governor's mansion Sunday. It happened during a Second Amendment rally outside the mansion, the state capitol. Witnesses say that as the rally was ending, someone drove up in a pickup truck and pulled it out of a bag and hung it on a tree. It included a sign reading, Six Semper Tyrannis, Latin for thus always to tyrants. Another man came up and cut it down, saying it had no place at the rally and that they were trying to be peaceful. The U.S. Air Force is scrapping height requirements for pilots. Previously, pilots had to be no shorter than 5'4 and no taller than 6'5. Now, instead of looking at height as a standard, the Air Force says they'll focus more on scientific methods, which could include everything from weight to the length of someone's arms and legs. Here at home, San Antonio residents stopped by Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery to honor Memorial Day. Like one resident who rode his bike from Kelly Field to the cemetery to honor his father and uncle. Pay respects to all our, our fallen soldiers, men and women, my father, um, my tío. People we spoke to say we should always remember the sacrifices behind this holiday. Muslims around the world are celebrating Eid al fitr but they're having to celebrate in different ways because of the pandemic. In Indonesia, local governments allowed services to take place throughout the country with different measures in place. In the mosque you see here, people were separated more than in past years to help protect against the spread of COVID-19. A 13-year-old has become the youngest graduate of Fullerton College in California. Jack Rico now has four associate's degrees under his belt. He's now headed to the University of Nevada on a full scholarship to get a BS in history. Well, I mean, I'm 13, so I don't want to, like, rush everything, like, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I just want to focus on learning right now because that's what I love to do. Jack started college when he was 11 years old. Researchers in Hong Kong are developing a manufactured eyeball they think could eventually work better than the human eye. It's called the ECI, that stands for electrochemical eye. According to a study, it can recognize just a few letters in the alphabet right now, but the hope is that it could eventually be able to see things from far distances and even see in the dark. Take a look at this. Priests in Northern Ireland have been trying to keep parishioners' spirits up during the pandemic. On Saturday, at the end of a live-streamed mass, they broke out in a jig. One of the priests said he just wanted to give people a laugh during the darkness of coronavirus. The National Weather Service has confirmed all that damage on Palomino Path in Northwest Bear County was in fact the result of an EF1 tornado. People living in the Wild Horse subdivision where that street's located have been picking up the pieces all day. Sounded like you were in a dumpster or trash can with, with debris hitting it all the time and constantly. And, and then you could feel the pressure uh, when the windows blew out. To read more about these stories, head to KSAT.com.